class 5 maths chapter 6 be a multiple i will be your factor so first we'll see what is a factor and what is a multiple a factor is one of two or more numbers that divides a given number without a divide reminder so suppose for example let us take 10 so let us check whether 2 is a factor of 10 when you divide 10 with 2 the remainder is 0 therefore 2 is a factor of 10 so that is what the meaning is when you divide a number it should not have a remainder a multiple is a number that can be divided by another number a certain number of times without a remainder for example so we'll see the multiple of 4 so multiple of 4 is 16 when you divide 4 with the 16 the remainder is 0 then we can say 16 as a multiple of 4 so 5 into 4 equal to 20 factor of 20 is 5 and 4 and 20 is a multiple of 5 and 4 next difference between factors and multiple factors are defined as the exact divisors of a given number multiples are defined as the numbers obtained when multiplied by other numbers so second point is the fact uh, the number of factors is finite so you can count the number of factors whereas multiples can be infinite there is no end for multiples third point the operation used to find the factors is a division so here for multiples it is multiplication fourth the outcome of the factors should be less than or equal to the given number whereas in multiples it should be greater so these are the main difference between factors and multiples let us find the factor of 20 let me take 20 and divide this 20 with the smallest number 2 when i divide 20 with 2 i'll be getting 10 again if i divide with 2 i'll be getting 5 so again when i divided with 5 i'll be getting 1 so the factors of 20 is 2 and 5 so here it is 4 so we can also uh, include 4 also 10 so these are the factors of 20 next find the multiple of 4 take the number 4 first multiply it by 2 so 4 into 2 is 8 again 4 into 3 so we'll be getting 12 again 4 into 4 is 16 again 4 into 5 is 20 so these are the multiples of 4 8 12 16 20 so after this you can go back to the differences and check whether the written differences you can understand or not next prime number what is a prime number a prime number is the one which has exactly two factors which means it can be divided by only one and itself but one is not a prime number one is neither prime nor composite three is a prime number because three can be divided by only two number that is one and itself in the same way 2 3 5 7 11 13 14 or prime numbers next we'll see composite number a composite number has more than two factors 
which means apart from getting divided by number 1 and itself it can be divided by at least one integer or number we don't consider 1 as a composite number so example of composite number is 12 because 12 can be divided by 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 so 12 has 6 factors and hence it is called as composite number so prime and composite number charts are given so whichever is highlighted in yellow or prime numbers yellow labeled are prime numbers others are composite numbers next lcm and hcf what is a lcm least common multiple hcf highest common factor so we will uh, see how to find highest common factor of 24 and 36. See you have to divide 24 by 2 or whichever number is divisible. Start from least number and start dividing until you get the 1. Next write down the number and write the factors. So this factors is written here. The same way this factors of 36 is written here. Next, for finding HCF, you have to uh, mark the common multiple which is present in both 24 and 36. So, take the common multiple in both 2, 2, 3. So, when you multiply all these, you will be getting 12. So, 12 is the highest common factor of 24 and 36. Next, we will see LCM, least common multiple. So, 24 and 15. So, when you divide with the smaller number 2, you will be getting 12, 15. So, here uh, one difference you should uh, understand. Here, if the number is not divisible, then you can write down directly. Whereas, in L, uh, HCM, you should not uh, take it that way. Both numbers should be divisible. So, here what is the uh, least uh, common multiple here is, so 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. So, here it is 4 into 2 into 15. So, 15 into 8 you will be getting 120. So, the least common multiple of 24 and 15 is 120. Sample question. 1 is a factor of all numbers. Every number is a factor of itself. In 5 cross the, uh, 3 equal to 15, 5 and 3 are multiplicand of the multiple 15. Numbers having only two factors are called as prime numbers. Write all the factors of 64. 2, 4, 6, 8 and you can write the remaining factors of 64. Even 32 is a factor so, we can write the remaining factors of 64. Next, sample questions. Find the first two common multiples of 4 and 6. So, first we will write the common multiple. So, here it is 4, 8, 12. So, here it is 6, 12. So, first multiple is 12 and second multiple would be 24. So, these are the first two common multiple of 4 and 6. Find the LCM of 8 and 15. This you can do. Just pause the video. Find the LCM of 8 and 15. 
find the smallest number that can be divided by 24, 72 and 96. This is simple. The answer is 2. Sample question. Circle the multiples of 2 in red and multiples of 3 in blue. Circle the multiples of 6 in green. So, you have to mark red for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. For multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12 and so on. For multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18, 24 and so on. So, this is a easy uh, question. Hope you like the video. We will see in the next video. Thanks for watching.